what is up YouTube Frost the Hobbit in here and today we're going to back with another re another Sonic IDW comic review for you all and this is Sonic IDW issue 38 we are back where we last left off Sonic Tails and Amy are heading off to see whatever Eggman plan has in store in a weather machine of course and Tangle and Bella are going to going to help out Bella hopes to find some answers as Tangle wants to help out as well with the heroes as they left their restoration space. And Sonic, Tails, and Amy are in a weird void void dimension of a cyberspace. I don't know what it is. So uh, let's get on to let's get on to review, shall we? Where we uh, last left off, we see Sonic, Tails, and Amy falling in space as Sonic did not expect this to happen. Tails, with the best face I have ever seen him make in this comic, is fascinating as he grabs onto Sonic and Tails. As Tails grab on, wait, I'm sorry, Sonic and Amy. I'm sorry, it's it's hard to say Sonic and Tails. It's hard to say Sonic and Amy without saying Sonic and Tails because they're the dynamic duo. So they escape from getting crushed through through the place trying to rebuild themselves. As Sonic wants to know what's what's going on here, as Tails' is hypothesis is that Eggman created some kind of space, dimensional space, that Laws of Physics does not apply, as this whole techno babble that kind of lost, that kind of lost Sonic and Amy's, they don't know what he's talking about, and they think it might be some kind of trap. Tails may consider it, it might be, but he's not sure. Who knows what Eggman is doing in these things? It may be a trap or something else. So they see the exit and decide to fly out towards the exit. As Sonic and Tails and Amy makes it to the portal, they enter to another location. As Sonic sticks the landing, as he loves solid ground, Amy wants Amy tells them not to celebrate yet because they have no idea where they are, and it's giving them weird vibes. And I don't, I don't blame her. This is interesting, but I'm. I'd like to see how this goes. Don't you don't you agree? Meanwhile, we get outside of the place. Bella and Tangle on the Extreme Gear motorcycle bike as they make it to the weather machine local lo headquarters. And it seems they are on the right track because broken batniks means Sonic made it this way. And and Tangle can't wait to help out as much as he can if she's not too late. Bella looks at the Dr. Eggman logo, which uh, which kind of concerns her a little bit. As Bella tells her to hurry, as Tangle tells Bella to hurry up, they sneak into the vents. We see some egg ponds and egg ro and egg robos and Batniks go through these portals that Sonic, Tails, and Amy has went through. If they might be building something, or who knows what they're trying to do, so. Tangle decides they better start climbing up. As Tangle and Bella goes up the hangar, they hear some voices up ahead. They don't know what it is. They don't know who that is. And they bypass some badniks and some egg ponds. They see the master computer. They see Orbot and Cubot talking about the situation. And they Orbot and Cubot talking about that they they got into chamber two. He probably talking about Sonic and the others, and and they're surprised as they even made it there. And Cubot says, "You know what we have to do." Orbot says, "Please don't say so." And I really, I like the dynamic between Orbot and Cubot. It's very funny here, as they make a call to Doctor Eggman, like, "All right, let's get it over with." Maybe he won't pick up. Cubot says, and of course, Doctor Eggman picks up. He said, "I'm busy. Make it quick." Yeah. Listen, what have you two messed up this time? Orbot says, oh, nothing, nothing at all. Eggman says he doesn't like being interrupted when he's doing some brainstorming. Orbot says him that we have a slight problem. Cubot spilled the beans that Sonic and, and his friends broke into the chambers. As they hold back, hoping that they, they'll get blasted with arguments and yelling, they realize Boss, you're not angry. Why are you yelling at us? I think Cubot saying maybe he finally lost his touch, but we get this disturbing image of Eggman saying that he's kind of surprised that Sonic arrived, 
but he's also excited for this. Like he was expecting this to happen. And that may not be good. And Bella is surprised to hear that's the voice of Dr. Eggman himself. Tango said, yep, and he's probably planning something crazy. As Bella tries to follow her, she falls and slips on the cords as she bumps on herself, bumps on her bottom. She noticed some Batniks up, coming up her way. And the Batniks look at her, hoping that they would attack her. But they walk past her. They just ignored her. Okay then, that I'm guessing they sees her as a robot. They they don't fight another robot. Maybe the Yes, they just ignores her. Due to her being a robot, they just ignore her. So that's something. So Batniks will not attack her. Tango picks her up. Tango wants to know, okay, what was that all about? She wants answers, she wants the truth. Bella explains. Bella explains that. This basically proves every name that she was she was built the same way that she is a bad Nick and she doesn't want to hurt anyone she wants to find answers for herself and maybe she'll get the answers out of Dr. Eggman and she tells Tangle that you can leave me or destroy me I understand and I don't want it I don't want her destroyed and B Bella probably knows that if she admits that she's a bad Nick that she would let she probably doesn't reason that people would destroy her or or get rid of her or leave or abandon her just because she's a robot but tango being best girl in idw sonics saying that sonic and tails vouch for you you're okay in my book hey it doesn't matter if you're an eggman robot what you're trying to do is that you're trying to do what is good and tango is the best tango is best I guess she, I always thought that Tangle is the female version of Sonic because of her personality and her adventurous, adventurous side. And seeing that she sees the good in Belle, she just wants to know the truth. Now that she's being truthful that she's trying to do good, she, she would not abandon her. And I really like that about her. Tangle is the best. As we go back to the virtual world, Sonic, Tails, and Amy walk around seeing they might be on the right track. Sonic decides I'll do a quick around around just by running just to see let's see what's going on tail said don't do that this is probably the same place that it does the same functions that it does only to realize that yeah Sonic is like yeah it works the same way warping mazes he does not like that no so no running you you'll just basically end up at the same spot as you were see nope so he just see he'll just overload it so Sonic will just try and overload it again. But Amy Rose decides, no, let's just open the doors, go inside the buildings. And we enter this nice place, this nice little living room. Probably nobody home. Amy opens the door thinking that she expected someone. We see a, oh, oh dear. We see some dummy, dummy bots. Moby is just as test dummies. Tails, are these test dummies? As that's what I was thinking. Sonic says officially Eggman has upgraded the situation from weird to cr super creepy. I'm guessing this is where Eggman does his testing, where he wants to test out his experiments and his robots on Sonic and his friends. As they hear a thump, as they hear a thump in the room, Tails use the readings and they go to the. There's a bathroom in here. And we see a caterpillar in the bathtub. Like, I, that's something you don't see every day. The caterpillar just appears in the bathtub. Right response, the, the caterpillar tries to attack only to get hit by Amy Rose's hammer, Pico hammer, which was, I'm sorry, I'm still cracked up. There's a caterpillar in the bathtub and a bunch of more Batniks coming out of nowhere. And Amy Rose implied that Tails and Sonic that they are smashable, so you could destroy them. Which sounds good for Sonic's ears. And and for Tails. As Sonic does his homing attack. And Sonic blocks the blocks a Batnik storm outside. As Tails and Amy does the same way. There's a whole bunch of Batniks outside. And judging by the silhouette, there are probably hundreds of them. As they barricade the place, that the whole streets are covered in Batniks. 
Sonic does not like the idea that no room for him to no room for him to run around and which is not a good idea for not good for him. So explains why Sonic needs room to do this. He needs momentum. And and of course people like some like reviewers like Crystal Maiden. So I mean why then just Sonic why then just Sonic just runs around at the speed of sound and destroys them all by himself and and basically calling the characters idiots. I don't know she calls them idiots all the time. Probably why She's doing the reviews of the reboot universe, calling everyone idiots. He, I, I think she hates the Sonic series, but that's just her. I don't know. She, she's trying to add realistic realism in a Sonic series that is for cartoons, video game characters. That's not supposed to be taken seriously. I like Ian Flynn's writing. As yeah, they're trying to figure out a plan. They don't. Sonic is all up in ears to figure out what's going on. Tails is hoping that the Badniks are running a wireless signal. If they can find it, maybe they'll find an exit out of this place. And Amy Rose is hoping that maybe in why any of this is even happening. Sonic still thinks it's a trap. Either way, Tails feels like it's kind of like a, you know, a test field. And Eggman does Eggman does like rubbing it into people's faces if he does think of it as a trap. And when you hear Eggman's voice is heard, laughing in the distance. I love Sonic's face expression here. He said, oh, oh, the mist, my, all this mystery is putting my quills on edge. And I know that, and I know that laugh anywhere. <laughs> I love Sonic's face expressions in this. The artist does an amazing job on this one. As Sonic runs to the place where the sound is making, Eggman, he sees a toaster. Eggman's voice is coming out of a toaster, of all things. I was not expecting it, but hey, whatever. This is, this is fun. This is funny. I, I like it. Eggman's Sonic saying, is this some sort of a trap? You're going to trap us and, and feed it and force us to live on burnt toast? Eggman said, trap? Not at all. This whole place is a testing field. And he was putting up not for not just for you but for most of its cutting edge technology concept and most and think of it as able to control technology around the world testing fields throughout the planet people will not expecting it and he's thanking sonic for this great opportunity that he gets to test his testing field on his new toys on real test dummies and those test dummies happens to be sonic tails and amy and that's where the comic book issue ends here. Um, yeah, we learned about this place that this is a testing field for Dr. Eggman. Tango, Tango wants to know what's the deal with Bella. Bella realized that she is a bad Nick. She wants to hear answers out of Eggman. She wants to know the truth. She doesn't want to hurt people. And Bella is best girl. She doesn't want to abandon Bella. Tango is best girl. She doesn't want to abandon Bella. You know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. Overall, yeah, this is basically what the issue is. Basically, what Bella wants to find answers, Tango accepts her, and Sonic, Tails, and Amy are trying to find a way to escape. It's a testing field, and Eggman is going to commit some chaos in the eventual world. Overall, this issue is uh, interesting. I uh, look forward to issue 39, and, thir and issue 40 is the season finale for this four-part four -part story arc. Overall, take care, have a great day, be safe, and most importantly, stay frosty and stay healthy out there. Catch you all later, and have a great day. What? Shut up! Quickly! Be racist! You f***ing like this <laughs> You hear that, stupid? My fiancé hates your whole stinking race! Bet you didn't plan for that! <sighs> Follow me.